types of tectonic plates. There is a doorway that connects the two different worlds. And from this portal sprang the craziest alien known as Kaiju. As an example, when the Kaiju landed on Earth, it obliterated countless cities. And he put an end to a lot of individuals. However, Kaiju is killed by the soldiers. However, this chain is difficult to break. Another alien Kaiju has been discovered after a few months, it reappears. The Kaiju chain then continues on the Earth planet. They also completely annihilate the planet Earth. Then humans realize that this chain would not end in this manner. All of the world's countries are now united. Because humans had grasped the significance of this reality. In order to deal with them, they will have to invent some devices similar to them. Which is completely capable of confronting them. As a result, humans started a program. This program resulted in the creation of many fantastic robots. And these robots were so large that they couldn't be controlled by a single pilot. It begins to have a negative impact on their health and brain. They also modified the programming of these robots at the same time. They will now be controlled by two captains working together. And the captain's greatest coordination was required for this. It seemed as if two minds were controlling a single brain. And human people were fully effective in this endeavor. Following that, any time a kaiju alien approached the planet Earth, these robots would eliminate it, murdering it in this manner. Kaiju aliens afterwards became merely a source of entertainment for humans. Time continued to pass slowly in the same way. And suddenly the human race had complete faith in them. Any alien kaiju that emerges from the ocean now will be confronted and put to rest. This is how a lot of time passes. They learn one day that an alien kaiju is about to emerge from the sea. They now understand that the alien kaiju that has emerged from the sea is far more hazardous than the other kaiju. Following that, two twin brothers appear. One was named Yancey, while the other was named Raleigh. Now, both brothers will be in charge of the robot's program, which will bring an end to kaiju. They're both in that robot now. As a result, both of their brains may function in the same way. They were now linked to their robot in such a way that if the robot was harmed, they would be harmed as well. They are now both moving into the ocean, each with their robot. Their robot machine was so large that it couldn't sink in the water. They are now both moving to that location, each with their robot. Where the word kaiju was used. In the sea, there was also a boat. They first rescue the robot, after which they use it to assault kaiju. When they had previously fought with the kaiju aliens, they had beaten them. This kaiju extraterrestrial, on the other hand, was extremely powerful. Despite this, they use their robot to deliver an electric shock to kaiju. Then kaiju comes to an end, and they are informed from the control room. You'll have to return soon because that kaiju is still alive. They, on the other hand, combat kaiju while ignoring them. The left hand of their robot is damaged by kaiju. In addition, Kaiju assaults the robot's head. In the head of that robot, there were two brothers. Kaiju then kills Yancey and drags him outdoors. Raleigh was heartbroken about the loss. And he uses all of his robot's power to defeat Kaiju. He had, however, lost his sibling. It was a terrible loss for him. He's now lying on the seashore, having fallen down. Because he was severely injured while fighting Kaiju. Time passes in the same way, and members of the World Organization are revealed later. Who used to contribute to this program's funding. They claim that Kaiju cannot be defeated. Because Kaiju aliens know how to keep humans safe. After developing further, Kaiju aliens emerge on Earth. The fourth generation of Kaiju aliens has arrived on Earth. Now, the world's leaders have decided to put an end to the program totally. With Kaiju in it, large robots fight. Marshall is informed. At the last station of Hong Kong, you can take all your robots. And until a coastline defense wall is built, we will stop funding this program. This program had been introduced by the Commander Marshall. A coastal wall is now being constructed along the seashore. Which will be constructed in a short period of time. As a result, Kaiju aliens are not permitted to pass over this barrier. Marshall was not ready to concede his defeat just yet. 
Marshall did not want the robot inventing program to finish, so he formed a new crew. In some manner, he approaches Raleigh. However, Raleigh had left the show. When Kaiju killed his brother, his brain became entirely bonded to him. Marshall tells Raleigh, I need you to perform at the highest level. All of the previous robots that I discovered were repaired. You used to be able to manage an outdated robot named Mark III. For this, I require a pilot, but Raleigh expressly bans him. However, Marshall informs him of this. You'll need to save the entire world. It is up to you to take up this responsibility. Hearing this, Raleigh agrees with him, and he and Marshall travel to Hong Kong, where their team was quietly operating. They were down to four robots now. They were working on it. Marshall tells them about his attack strategy, which involves going into the section of the water where kaiju aliens appear. However, Raleigh tells him, we've already struggled. Marshall tells him, I have a plan. All you have to do now is prepare. Mako, Marshall's foster daughter, is also depicted. She is in charge of the entire program. Mako now tells Marshall that she wants to be a co-pilot with Raleigh so that she may operate the robot by connecting to his brain. She may also have to face kaiju aliens. However, Marshall bans her from entering because Mako's parents were victims of the kaiju aliens. If she remembers the accident, she will never be able to control the robots correctly. As a result, Marshall dislikes him. On the other hand, the process of selecting a co-pilot has begun. Many combatants were forced to fight Raleigh one by one. And Raleigh comes out on top. Following that, Mako arrives to battle Raleigh here. Both Mako and Raleigh are capable fighters. As a result, it has been decided that Raleigh's partner will be Mako and no one else. They've taken their seats and their robots for a test. Their two brains are connected here. After a while, Raleigh returns to his previous recollection. Where his sibling was killed by kaiju aliens. As a result, Raleigh's connection to the robot has been severed. On the other hand, Mako recalls her past experiences. And she's lost in the memory of her parents being slaughtered by kaiju invaders. Raleigh can now see his memories as well. And he attempts to understand Mako, but she was actually sitting inside a robot. She ignites a robot's weapon there. If that weapon starts to work, everything will come to an end. People begin to flee in all directions. Before Mako can use this weapon, the electric connection must be switched off. As a result, the robot has been turned off. After that, Marshall removes Mako from the co-seat. Pilots. On the other hand, a scientist known as Newton is depicted. He connects his brain with Kaiju's brain. This is where Kaiju's brain was inserted. In the same way that two pilots are linked to each other's brains. And Newton connects his brain to that of Kaiju. Then he sees the location from where all Kaiju aliens appear. He also sees other aliens working on the creation of these kaiju aliens. After that, Marshall appears and informs Newton that the kaiju aliens who have approached Earth are here to clean up the pollution. Meanwhile, the next generation of kaiju aliens will arrive to exterminate humanity. When dinosaurs roamed the Earth, these kaiju aliens had already arrived. The climate on Earth at the time was unsuitable for these aliens. As a result, the aliens returned and continued to wait. Because of the poor ozone layer and pollution, this climate is ideal for aliens. As a result, they intend to utilize all of the resources available on this planet. It is the mission of these aliens, who rule every world. They also make use of the planet's resources. They then travel to a different planet. Marshall tells Newton that he must reconnect with the brain of the kaiju alien once more. In order for us to learn more about kaiju. Newton says, I can't do that. The kaiju's other brain will be necessary to reconnect with it. This brain is utterly deafeningly deafeningly deafening Marshall learns that two more kaiju aliens had surfaced from the Pacific Ocean at the same time. He then dispatches his robots to assassinate them. Raleigh, he continues, stay here right now since you don't have another partner. A robot confronts a kaiju at the bottom of the ocean. However, kaiju was a formidable foe. He fully destroys the robot. When the second robot arrives, Kaiju begins to emit a liquid from his body. 
He then tosses it towards the robot. Electric current is generated as a result of this. It means that one of their two robots was injured. The kaiju is now being confronted by a third robot. Kaiju is fought by the third robot. Kaiju detonates some chemicals here. From his body, he emits an electromagnetic wave. As a result, not only the robots, but the entire department, ceases to function. They were unable to connect their robot at this time. After that, Raleigh tells Marshall that he must send us there. Because their walking robot technology was outdated. The remaining robots were all digital. Marshall will now have to agree with Raleigh. He is now preparing to make Mako a co-partner of Raleigh. They're both in their robots now, and they've arrived at their destination. Which had entirely stopped operating. Before Kaiju is destroyed, Mako and Raleigh assault it. And this is when Kaiju comes to an end for this robot. On the other hand, another Kaiju alien is spotted. Which was on its way to the city. And everyone knows what this Kaiju extraterrestrial is. As a result, citizens were frantically running from place to place. On the other hand, Newton, who comes to man, can be seen. This man used to trade Kaiju aliens organs. Newton had come to this man to steal Kaiju's brain. As a result, after being connected to Kaiju's brain, he may be able to gather additional knowledge. When they learn that one of the Kaiju aliens is approaching the city, that man informs Newton that you have linked with Kaiju's brain, indicating that the bond is not one-sided but two-sided. As a result, Kaiju alien is aware that you have gathered information about him. This Kaiju has just arrived to destroy you. Kaiju alien had now arrived in this metropolis. As a result, Raleigh and Mako arrive with their robot to see him. They are now spending far too much time fighting this Kaiju. However, the Kaiju aliens take to the skies, holding their robot. He captures them at their peak. Before he transports them beyond this atmosphere, they cut off one of his arms. They're both starting to plummet to the ground now. They do, however, activate their robot's power booster. As a result, they glide effortlessly to the earth. On the other hand, Newton and those men arrive at the location where Kaiju Alien ended. Newton wants the brain of Kaiju Alien for whatever reason. However, following his death, his brain is completely silenced. Suddenly, another alien emerges from the Kaiju creature's guts. Who is the one who attacks them all? Before that, he murders Newton, and something gets lodged in Kaiju's throat, knocking him out. The other man now believes he has died. That Kaiju alien engulfs him as he approaches. On the other hand, Marshall is depicted, who wishes to complete his mission with the last two robots. It means he intends to fully demolish that breach through which Kaiju aliens emerge and which serves as a portal to another world by placing a bomb there. After taking the co-pilot's seat, Marshall will have to leave at this point. Because the co-pilot of the robot was badly bruised. Now, the Marshall and Raleigh's robots are moving to the location where the Kaiju aliens emerge on Earth through a gap. On the other hand, Newton may be seen, who has linked his brain to Kaiju aliens. Then he realizes that Marshall's strategy is doomed to fail. Because Kaiju aliens are the only ones who can open the portal to another world. On the other hand, it can be observed that both robots have arrived at that location. Where do Kaiju aliens show up? Kaiju aliens already exist. Now Newton informs Marshall that they will be unable to enter the gateway to another world without Kaiju. Another Kaiju emerges from the portal, this time the most dangerous Kaiju to date. Another Kaiju attacks Raleigh and Mako's robot. As a result, he breaks one of the robot's hands. They, on the other hand, stab him with their sword. On the other hand, another extremely dangerous Kaiju alien is observed. Which was attempting to assassinate Marshall. Within a short period of time, he destroys the Marshall robot. Kaiju alien, he says to his companion. When both Kaiju aliens arrive at Marshall's robot, Marshall asks Mako and Raleigh. Have you recalled what your mission is? He detonates the bomb embedded in the robot as both Kaiju aliens approach. On the other hand, Raleigh and Mako are transporting the body of Kaiju, whom they had killed, to a ditch. Then a third Kaiju alien appears in front of them. Which was seriously hurt, in reality, 
Just one kaiju had died as a result of the explosion. Other kaiju alien were still alive at the time. Mako was severely damaged, as was Raleigh's robot. However, they use all of their strength to approach the portal and capture the kaiju alien. Which led to another world's gateway. The kaiju alien and the robot are now fighting. In the same fashion, they fight their way to the portal. Mako's oxygen level was at its lowest. As a result, Raleigh activates his capsule's upward movement. Now Raleigh has arrived on another planet, and he is about to detonate the bomb. All aliens were present, yet they didn't understand a single detail.